Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can get started mining XRP Ripple using your Windows 10 or 11 based computer or even a Mac based computer here in 2025 in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you earn more and keep more of the XRP that you are mining, allowing you to build your holdings faster as we prepare for the rest of the 2025 bull run. So before we dive into the video, I do always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a quick look at what's going on in the crypto markets as a point of reference if you happen to be watching this in the future. So if you aren't interested in this portion of the video, feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the tutorial then. But overall, as you can see, crypto prices are still down. Um, with that being said, it's only down about 0.33% today to a total market cap of $3.49 trillion. Um, overall, though, on the seven day chart, we are seeing a lot of green. Uh, Bitcoin is getting closer and closer to that $100,000 mark, Ethereum th sitting around $3,600, uh, and then of course XRP, the coin of today's video, currently sitting at $2.38, which is up 13.5% in the last seven days, which is really awesome to see. Now, with that being said, there are a lot of people saying that this coin continue will continue to go higher. So if we look back here, back in 2018, it was just about $3.10. So even if it gets back to just that all-time high, we still have about an 80 cent gain, uh, 70, 80 cent gain potential on any coin that you mine today. But of course, a lot of the price predictions are saying this coin is going to go much higher than that. So you might be thinking, XRP is not a mineable coin. How can you start mining it? Well, we're using a site here called Unminable. If you're not familiar with this site, basically what it does is it allows you to mine coins that, as you probably guessed, are not traditionally mineable, or coins that are mineable but require really expensive ASIC computers. So the way they do this is you actually choose an algorithm that's best for your specific hardware, whether you're mining with CPU or GPU, you mine that, Currently, they you know mine a coin that's profitable on that algorithm, and then what they do is on the back end, exchange it and pay you out in in this case XRP. So that can be very beneficial for places where if you have uh, have to exchange your own coins, that may create taxable events, or it might just be a little easier for tracking to just get paid out in the coin that you're interested in. So while you aren't actually mining XRP, you are getting paid out in it for GPU mining. So to find out what's best for your hardware, I would recommend going out to whattomine.com. Enter in your hardware. It's got all the GPUs going back to like the RX 470 uh, and then the 1050 Ti on the NVIDIA side. But once you figure that out, go ahead in the description, click the link. Uh, if you do use that link, I will say it saves you 25% on your pool mining fee, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Or go ahead and navigate to unminable.com. Once you're there, go ahead and select get started with our wizard. And there's two options, basic and advanced. I personally always recommend basic as that's good enough for 99% of people looking to mine. Uh, but advanced is there if you're interested. I'm going to be following the GPU path today, but if you are following along and looking to mine with your CPU or you're looking to mine with a Mac computer, I would recommend going with the CPU option here, and I do have a full tutorial here on the channel for mining with Mac that goes through that setup. Here's where you'll select your algorithm. I'm going to go with Kapow, but please, again, choose what's best for you according to what to mine. And here's where you choose the coin you want to get paid out in. There are tons of options here on Unminable, but of course we are looking at Ripple. At this point, you'll go ahead and paste in the address that you want to use to get paid out in. Please double and triple check that this address is correct. If this address is incorrect, nothing is going to not work. Everything will look and run as expected until you go to get paid, and then you will not get paid. So I'd hate to see you mining and not get that payout. 
Also, they do have a call out here. If this is a new address, make sure there's at least one XRP in there before your first payout. This is just something that's part of the uh, kind of blockchain and network of XRP. So there's that call out as well. But once you've confirmed that, go ahead and select next. And this is the final step before getting started mining entering in a referral code for this discount. Now, if you use the link down below, you'll see it auto-populated my Bitcoin Dash Tips, capital B, capital T, referral code. This is gonna save you 25% on your pool mining fee. So here on Unminable, there is a 1% pool mining fee, meaning for every 100 XRP coins that you mine, you will have to pay one of those coins to Unminable, regardless of if it's $2 a coin or $20 a coin, or if you mine those 100 coins in a day or in a year, you're always going to pay that one coin fee. By using this code, you actually reduce that down to 0.75%, meaning you get to keep an additional 25% of the coins that you would have otherwise paid to on Mineable in your wallet, building your holdings faster. So if you didn't use that link in the description, you can go ahead and type the code in or feel free to continue without it. The final step here will be to download the miner and get started. Now, I personally always recommend Gminer as it supports both major GPU manufacturers and it's the one that I personally use and have had a lot of really good luck with. So feel free to choose whatever you want, but I'm going to do Gminer here. So what you'll do is select download miner files. This will take you to the GitHub where you just download this Windows 64 zip file. Download this and extract it. If you miss the extraction step, you will get some errors right when you go to run the .bat file, which we'll do in just a second. So if you do notice that things don't seem to be working as expected, you get an error right away. Double check that you didn't miss that extraction step. That is definitely critical for this uh, process to work. What you'll then do is go ahead and select the download.bat file and as you can see, Google Chrome has called this out and said, hey, this is an unverified file. Are you sure you want to download this? You will have to click this and say download unverified file. Now, if you're not comfortable doing that, please simply select delete from history. Unfortunately, there is no workaround for this. So if you're not comfortable doing that, you will unfortunately not be able to continue with this tutorial. If you are comfortable with that, go ahead and select download and then go ahead and drag and drop this file into the same folder that you just extracted with all of the other minor files here. So as you can see, I now have my unminable XRP Kapow gminer.bat. And at this point, all you have to do to get started is double click this file. Now I do want to take a second to say you will get this pop up the first time you start the miner. Again, you will have to say more info and then run anyway. If you're not comfortable doing that, unfortunately, again, there is no workaround for this, but you will only get this pop up the first time you start the miner. So just like that, we are about eight minutes into the video, including a little bit of talk with CoinMarketCap, and you can see we are successfully up and running mining XRP coin using my RTX 3070 on Windows 11 in less than 10 minutes. So with that being said, just a few final notes that I do want to mention here with Unminable. When you start the miner like I just did, it does take about 15 to 30 minutes for stats to show up on the website showing that you are mining and getting paid. That's completely normal, so if you go refresh right away, it's probably not going to show you anything. If it doesn't show up after about an hour, I would double check and make sure that you have your addresses pasted in right and that there is no red text or errors here in the uh, CMD window. And on the other side, when you're ready to be done mining, all you have to do is select and find this CMD window and hit the red X. Now you might be thinking, why am I telling you how to close a window? Well, with Unminable, when you stop the miner, you may actually continue seeing stats and even payments for up to 12 hours after stopping the miner. This is something I've personally seen. I've also seen some questions about it as well. I can say that I did at one point stop a miner, turn off the computer and unplug it from the wall and was still getting payments the next morning over 12 hours later. So it's a little weird, but as long as that miner is closed out, you can know that you are no longer mining. And I wouldn't be too upset because, hey, you're still getting those payments. So with that being said, if you do run into any issues throughout this entire process, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. And if you have any questions or comments about this tutorial or 
uh, what you'd like to see in the future here on the channel, make sure to leave a comment as well. And if you're looking to support the channel further than just liking and subscribing, we do have channel memberships. Uh, if you do want to get access to a specific members only discord, uh, as well as other benefits as well. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to Bitcoin Tips to stay up to date on all things crypto. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.